Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 29th of January 2021 and the time is 10.59 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is silver. Um, if you take a look at the price action here, we can see that the broad trend of the last few months has been to the upside. Today it hit its highest level. Um, since the Friday the 8th of January. So we've hit a multi-week multi high on the silver market. Taking a look at the MACD indicator, MACD histogram, we can see that uh, momentum has swung from negative to positive. The market's moving higher. There's a switch in sentiment from negative to positive. So for the time being, the, um, the momentum appears to be with the bulls. Now, if we take a look at the price action in the last few weeks, we can see that it suffered a, what, a significant sell-off uh, from early January into the middle of the month. This candle here, which I've circled, um, appears to be and, and looks ever increasingly to be a hammer formation. The market moved higher on the back of it. It drifted a bit lower, had, had a bit of a pullback. It found support nicely at the 100-day moving average which is the yellow line there in a 24 spot 83 and has moved higher again. So it seems to me that the kind of weakness that we've seen uh, from early January into mid January seems to have been shaken off and we've nearly, re we've nearly recouped all of those losses. If we continue to push on higher from here, we could be looking at retesting the early January highs in a 27 spot 92. And the move beyond that could take us back up towards a move beyond um, the the recent highs could take us back up to could take us back up toward the, the highs of September uh, 2020 in at 28 spot 90. And if we go beyond that, we could then be looking at heading up towards you know $30, which would be I think the next big number to keep an eye out on. Uh, if you are going to be trading silver, keep an eye on what's going on with gold. Um, the two markets are, are reasonably well correlated. They don't always move in tandem, but they often do. Now, similarly with gold. Uh, it had a multi-month high in January, had an aggressive sell-off into the middle of the month. Notice how the candle, the, sh the shape of the candle that we're seeing here, notice the hammer formation uh, on the gold chart. It looks quite similar to the formation we saw on the same day in silver. Um, and what, what, what we saw here was it had moved higher, but it has been drifting a bit lower uh, ever so slightly. So it's given back some of its gains. With that, uh, this this could be a bit of a pivot point. Silver continues to move higher and build on its gains, whereas gold has given up some of those gains. So not to say <clears throat> that the, the, if, if gold continues to move lower, silver will not move higher, but you can be more confident that silver is going to continue to move higher if you were to see gold trade higher too because of the kind of often this correlation between those two assets. So if you are going to be trading silver, keep an eye on what's going on gold. If you're seeing gold breaking lower, that could cast some doubt over the continu possible continue continued rally in the silver market. Whereas if gold moves on higher from here, if it takes out its recent highs and it's, and it's setting multi-week highs in gold, you can then be more confident that we're going to see a continuation of the bullish move in silver. And then also, well, it's also worth pointing out, because the, um, the gold market and to an extent silver often get moved around and influenced by what goes on with the US dollar, let's take a look at what's going on with the dollar. Uh, if you look under the products, uh, we can see here at CMC Markets, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the selection or categories of products that we offer is the Forex indices, which is the same principle as the stock market index, but it's like a basket uh, of currencies. So if we take a look at the CMC USD index, which is a different, a slightly different weighting from the, you know, the well-known US dollar index, we can see here at the, the greenback has, uh, has gone through an interesting move in the last few weeks. Been in a strong downward trend for the last few months, at its lowest level uh, in over two years uh, at the beginning of January, but since then it's been moving higher. Now, is this going to be a case of we're going to see a move to the upside because it recoups some of the loss and then it turns over on itself and moves lower yet again? Or is it going to be a case that it's actually going to move higher and then it's going to build on those gains and actually look to do a more of a large turnaround? We can see now that the CMC USD index is kind of running it, has run into resistance at this blue line here, the 50 day moving average. We haven't tested that metric since November. If it continues to remain below it, it's likely that the broader downward trend is going to remain intact. Further weakness in the US dollar from here could prop up gold and potentially silver. Um, but if you do have a share break higher 
in the in the US dollar index. If you take off the or the US dollar, the CMC G USD index, if you were to break higher in in, in in the dollar, if we take off the late December highs and we head up towards the early December highs, that could be a sign the dollar's turning around that's likely to put pressure on gold and it's also likely to put pressure on silver so we need to keep an eye out for keep an eye out for that uh let's take a look at some possible areas of um support in the silver market because you're talking about the moves to the upside if it continue if you do move lower in silver we could look at retesting the 100 moving average at 24 spot 83 83 the yellow line here a break below that could take us back down towards the 24 mark which is basically the lows of mid of mid january and if you go below that then we'd be kind of concerned that we would be more concerned with the recent upward trend and that could take us back down towards the low seen in late november if you are going to be trading um, silver, gold, or the US dollar today, it's worth keeping keeping in mind um, that we do have some important economic data out from the US uh, in a few hours. Uh, our economic calendar here can be found um, on third option down under market calendar. Uh, it comes the numbers are coming out at 13:30 GMT. It is the US personal income, US personal spending, and the US core PCE reading, uh, all of which are be fairly important. On the back of it, we could see some moves, some, some aggressive moves in the US dollar and therefore moves in gold and or silver. Uh, that's all from this video. Thank you for listening and have a good weekend.